I want to ask you a question about guns and get your response to some of the arguments that Republicans are making now about the push to ban semi-automatic weapons. One of the things they're saying is that uh, there are 25 million of these devices out there in circulation in the homes of millions of Americans, and therefore you can't ban them. What's the, what's the president's response to that? That's unacceptable. That's our, that's our response. It's unacceptable that Republicans are saying that there's nothing that we can do. Our schools, our churches, our places of worships have now become deadly places for many Americans who have lost their lives just this, just this past year. So I asked Republicans, what are you going to say to the families in Nashville at this elementary school who lost their loved ones? Three kids, three, adult, three adults, three nine-year-olds. Is that what they're going to say to them, that there's nothing else that we can do? You're going to say that to the Uvalde families, the parents? There's nothing else that we can do. You're going to say that to the people in Buffalo, in that grocery store on a Saturday, doing what many Americans do on a Saturday across the country, that there's nothing that, we, that we're going to do. Republicans in Congress need to show some courage. And if they had courage, they would be introducing legislation on, assault ban, uh, uh, on banning assault weapons today. That's what they would be doing today. And we know, and Steve and I know, because we've had this conversation back and forth about assault, ban, assault weapons ban, that has, when, when there was one, what is legislation that turned into law that the president uh, uh, led on 30 years ago, we know that it saved lives. We know that to be a fact. But yet they refuse, they refuse to move forward. And yet guns, as we know, is the leading cause that is killing our kids. And they refuse. They refuse to show some courage and do anything about it. And that's shameful. I just want to ask a quick follow-up. Um, in the last presidential campaign, one of the Democratic contenders said that what he would do is come for AR-15s. Does the president support not just banning the sale and manufacture of semi-automatic weapons, but further than that, confiscation? Let's, let me just be very clear. What we're talking about, AR-15s, these assault weapons ban, they are weapons of war, and they should not be on the streets across the country, in our communities. They should not be in schools. They should not be in grocery stores. They should not be in, in churches. That's what the president believes. And he has done more than any other president the first two years on an executive order. And as you know, we all know how government works. There's only so much that he can do. And so now it's time for Congress to do the work. And he's happy to sign. Once that happens, he's happy to sign that legislation that says, okay, we're going to remove assault weapons. We're going to have an assault weapons ban. Okay, ahead, Lucy. Uh, Karine, last year, President Biden said ahead of the lame duck session that he would count the votes to see if he could do anything on an assault weapons ban, and we never heard any more on that. D did he count votes or make any outreach at that time? In retrospect, should he have done more during that window? The president has had more executive actions on dealing with gun violence than any other president in history. He has used every tool that he can on the federal level to deal with this epidemic that is killing families and P Americans across the country. He has taken action just recently, as you all know, when he was out west, he signed another executive action. So again, he has done everything that we can. The reason that there's no assault weapons ban is not because of this president. It's not because of Democrats in Congress. Republicans in Congress need to look in the mirror. Okay. Green, thanks. Um, quickly on Nashville, can you update us? The president said he was trying to talk to the victims' families. Has he been able to do that? Are, are there any more details about when he might visit? So I don't have any. I don't have any details uh, to lay out or preview about any travel uh, for the president. Uh, as you know, he's spoken about uh, Nashville a couple of times already. He did a, a gaggle outside. As you all know, when he landed after coming back from North Carolina, uh, he spoke about it in Durham, North Carolina. He spoke about it on the day of, uh, laying out, giving out his condolences and being very clear on what the next steps need to be. Uh, again, assault assault weapons ban. Uh, I just don't have anything else to read out to you. He has spoken uh, to uh, to the mayor and to um, uh, some other elected officials uh, in Nashville, in Tennessee, just to offer up any assistance that we can provide. As you know, there's an investigation currently going, going on. And let me just, in terms of what we're talking about, what may be able to be done in the wake of this, he obviously, as you referenced, passed the executive actions, among them um, calling on the attorney general to expand background checks to the extent possible. 
Effectively, does that mean that there will be an attempt to close the gun show loophole? Is that something that the president expects to see? So the universal background check, which is the EO that the president signed just a couple of weeks ago, uh, and uh, it's the close. It's, it comes close as possible to universal background checks as we can be, absent of new federal legislation. Again, the president is do, is doing everything that he can from his perch. Uh, using all the tools that he can, but it needs federal legislation. Uh, but this directive is is enormously uh, significant. The, the DOJ, they're going to figure out, they're going to go through the process and figure out how they're going to move for, uh, 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 forward on this, and they'll have a better pre purview, so I'm not going to get into details but on that. I guess, does the president think that DOJ <coughs> will ultimately have the authority legally think, to do this? And that's, and that's something legally, the Department of Justice, that is that is in their purview to figure that out. Uh, again, the, pers the president is doing everything that he can. Uh, without legislation. It takes legislation to get this done, uh, using every tools that he has uh, in, in, his, uh, in front of him to, to do what he can. 